Who remembers Cool Whip? Well, I loved Cool Whip. I mean, it never went on top of anything. I just ate it right out of the container. I was never a huge Cool Whip person. I was a Ready Whip person. Let us know down in the comment section, were you a Ready Whip person or were you a Cool Whip person? I was a everything person. Everything person? Well, we were recently in Aldi and they have a new product called True Whip, which is a keto version of Cool Whip. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. True Whip. Are you trying to say True Whip? True Whip. Like Whip? Whip. True Whip. Feels like all I can think about now is that like Family Guy <laughs> episode where, where Stewie's cool whip. putting a ton of emphasis on the H. Ooh, let me have some of that Cool Whip. What'd you say? You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. You mean Cool Whip. Okay, so we were recently in Aldi. They have this True Whip. It says right on the front, zero grams of sugar, one gram of net carbs, and it does say keto. They had another one that was not keto. Non-keto. The entire front label is like ice cream and milkshakes and pie, and it says gluten-free, non-GMO, no natural artificial colors or flavors, no preservatives, zero grams of trans fat, soy-free, no high fructose corn syrup, no hydrogenated oils. Is this just an empty container? I'm like There's really nothing in this. excited about this. It's water. Okay, so are you ready? I'm always we're, ready. We're gonna try this. For hip. We got a couple of spoons here. Now it did just come out of the freezer, so hopefully, oh, okay. It's it's defrosting pretty quickly. How did you like it? Did you like it right out of the freezer or did you want I always it to be wanted little... it a little bit. I didn't mind when it was a little harder. Dink. Dink. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. That's Cool Whip. Whip. That is delicious. That tastes exactly like Cool Whip to me. Okay. I was never eating it out of the container. I was always eating it out of the container. You had to put it on something. No. Yeah, well I have something to put it on. I mean, that's a bonus. I would eat my pie after I finished my tub of Cool Whip. Okay, so this is a piece of raspberry cream cheese coffee cake from Omaha Baking Company. Oh my gosh. That there is a uh, is like a third of a serving and it so this piece here is like two net carbs or no one net carb really. Oh, okay. So, so you ready? I'm going in. Oops. Oh. Got to get the little topper. You got to get the, oh, that's the whole I point. I like to isn't have it? it across the whole middle. Okay, ready? Dink. Dink. And that's why they make topping. That is delicious. That is so good. That is really good. Well done, Omaha Baking Company. I don't, yeah, oh my God. And, and this really just tops it off perfectly. This is good. You wanna put five things? No, I wanna eat the rest of this. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Well, let's do five things five while things. I talk. Five things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutritional label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. Number one is the ingredients. I'm gonna be honest. I saw the ingredients of this when I first picked it up and the second ingredient scared me a little bit. Oh. Okay, well, because it? the first ingredient is water and the second ingredient is vegetable oil. Oh. At which point you're like, <gasps> oh my gosh, we don't eat vegetable oil. We don't eat canola oil, right? We And I mean, because we stay away from all those oils. It's inflammatory, not because it isn't keto. Right. But then you look on the front and it says hydro no hydrogenated oils, no trans fats. Okay? <laughs> okay. 
So fortunately, Aldi's stepping up their game a little bit. Well done. And they're telling you what is inside of the ingredients. Like, you know, this is what's in our chocolate. Yeah. And their vegetable oil is palm kernel oil and coconut oil. You need to describe so, it as something different, honey, because right, vegetable like, oil Aldi, sounds terrible. If you're watching this video, do not put vegetable oil no. on a keto product and then your vegetable oil is palm oil and coconut oil. Because some people are just gonna stop right stop there. Stop right there. Had had you not done that and gone, if you would have put palm kernel oil, coconut oil, my, I never would have raised a red flag. But if you wouldn't have put palm kernel, if you would have not Explained had that, it in if you would have just put vegetable oil, I would have never picked this product up. Yeah. Right? It was only because I saw, oh, their vegetable oil, which they're not lying. No. Right? They're, they're actually being really honest, but they're calling it vegetable oil and that's not what we look at as a vegetable oil. Yeah. And so I think that a non-keto person that picks it up isn't going to be disappointed when they when they see you know those oils but a keto person will be disappointed if we see vegetable oil yep so it's it's not bad oils okay right. so that that's the whole point of this conversation that took five minutes sorry then we have allulose tapioca syrup and then it contains less than two percent of light cream sunflower lecithin sodium cassonate from milk xanthan gum guar gum and natural flavors monk fruit extract and beta carotene for color. So the ingredients in this really actually are good. really good. The only one that may upset some people would be tapioca syrup, okay? And uh, here's the thing, the tapioca syrup would be a fiber. Yeah. So let's see how much of it is with number two, which is does it keto based on a nutrition label? I'm amazed by those ingredients. Okay, so Are you not eating that. I, I will. I was gonna keep it for number three so that okay. we can refresh ourselves on how does it taste. Well, we have a whole tub. I know, <laughs> but I'm trying not to eat the whole tub in one sitting because there's 25 servings per container, not the one and a half to two servings that I used to make out of a Cool Whip container. Right. All right. So there's two tablespoons as a serving, 25 calories. Two and a half grams of fat, zero grams of protein, two total carbs, um, and no fiber and no sugar. Now, again, you've got the allulose, which they don't usually list as a sugar alcohol. So you're still taking out that gram. So that's where they're coming up with a one net gram. Right. So, but here's the thing. One net carb. Zero grams of dietary fiber. So they're not even taking it off. So at worst. Worst. Worst two total carbohydrates. I'm totally fine with that. And, Cause they're not even telling you, oh, oh what was, okay, yeah. Cause you have the allulose. They're saying yeah. one gram of allulose. I'm okay with the ducting but allulose. But there's no fiber game at all. There's no fiber game because it does have tapioca syrup, but obviously not that much. Cause they're not taking it out. Cause they're not taking it out. So you want to say one net carb. I'm good with that because I'm okay with taking out allulose. It's one of the few sweeteners that I know your body's not gonna digest and it actually could help to lower your glucose. But let's say worse, and again, we always say round up, let's go with two total carbs. Yeah. That means that, a, a, so this, that's about a tablespoon. I mean, we can go get a scale if you wanted. That's that's a half a serving. I feel like that's a reasonable if, if amount. If you wanna go, okay, so there's a serving. Get, grab your spoon there. Oh, sorry. That's a pretty good serving. Because again, it is a topper. I don't want a 15 carb topper on top of my keto dessert because right. I've got to count the carbs and what is underneath this thing. Even if you double this, okay? Even if you double that, I know it may not show up because it's white, and but that would be four total carbs. If you double that, two net carbs. I'm, I'm not unhappy. I, I'm, pretty impressed with the serving size I'm and gonna, does it keto. I'm gonna remind myself. Okay, so number three, how does it taste? I don't think that's going back in the container. Very creamy, which I'm surprised at. Like Cool Whip creamy. Used to be when you would get like light Cool Whip because you're trying to be better. Light Cool Whip tastes like garbage. It was like skim milk. It was milk that was, it was water that was lying that it was milk. And light Cool Whip always tasted like water that was lying. It was Cool Whip. So this is the creamy can full I, fat taste. Can I touch on something with this? Sweetness. Just it's right. It's the perfect sweetness. It's not shoot you in the face sugar. No. And it's allulose, which sometimes I listen. We always say you can deduct allulose. I'm good with allulose. 
I always say still put a cap on it because you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to get like some digestive issues. But the problem with allulose is it's only 70% as sweet as sugar. So a lot of times they add so much allulose to try to bring that sweetness up. Yeah. And they're doing what we say you need to do in all of our recipes, which is cut the allulose. And then what are they doing at the very end there? They're adding some monk fruit extract, which is gonna up the sweetness. You need sweetness. them both, you need them, the both so, of them. And again, if you're using a liquid monk fruit or a liquid stevia, that has no total carbs. Right. So they're doing it perfectly. The sweetness on this is dead on. I think it's actually better than Cool Whip. So the other thing that I always think Morbus. about when, when you're eating this, if you get the no name brand Cool Whip, you would get like that weird film on the roof of your mouth that was like when you bought cheap bologna. You get mm -hmm. cheap bologna and you're getting like a nasty slick on the roof of your mouth that feels like not right. So sometimes with like the cheap Cool Whip brand, that's what you would get. There is none of that. Yeah. So it's not like you're getting that like, you know, it's a terrible mouthfeel. Number four, how much does it cost? It's from Aldi. $2.56. What? That's what it was on our, on our Aldi. So this would be actually a really nice thing to, if you're just looking for something kind of on the light side and not wanting to top your holiday treats with like ice cream mm -hmm. where you're you're gonna get maybe way I'm more. I'm thinking put a little bit of this, just like a serving it, on top of some keto chow ice cream. That would be delicious, but I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a little dollop right in my coffee, right on the top. Well, let's talk about number five. Would we recommend it? Yes. The holidays are coming. I'm highly recommending this with one little issue. Okay. It's Aldi. So good luck. <laughs> good luck finding it. You can Aldi, freeze it. Yes. Well, this is Best Buy. This was, a, well, it comes frozen. Best Buy November 11 of 22, year. which is why I bought four of them not knowing if it was gonna be any we'll good because Aldi has got like the greatest return policy ever. Um, so, but Aldi is here today, gone tomorrow. And my experience with Aldi is every time I find something good that I oh, like- Oh, we're gonna stop carrying that. Like the Aldi version of Zevia. Yeah. Like the Wahlburger pickles. Well, they came back and, okay. and the cashier today, cause yeah, I was just, we were just in Aldi and the cashier said, oh, you like these pickles. I remember you were excited about these pickles the last time you were in here. And I'm like, man, I'm that girl that's yeah, like excited about pickles. Girl. But um, he's like, I think there was such a demand on those Wahlburger pickles that, they, delicious. that they may be making them a permanent item. Well, we're, we're reviewing permanent this. Item, I here's my suggestion. If you go to your Aldi and you find this, buy every tub that you can fit right. in your freezer. I don't know if this is a permanent fixture, but it's really, really, really yeah. good. And Reasonably priced. I think the ingredients are really good. And here's where I want to use this with, especially because, I mean, I know you hear vegetable oil and you're like, oh my gosh, but those are good oils. Right. Here's where I'm looking at. On top of our keto chow pancakes. Yes. Link right up over there. Yes. On top of our keto chow custard. Oh yeah. On top of some sugar-free jello that you may buy at Walmart yes. or some, like think about where would you, let us know down in the comment where section, this? where would you put this stuff? Because listen, heavy cream messes with my stomach. So we don't do too much whipped cream. I'm good with this, right? Add a little bit of fat. Have a good dessert. I like that creaminess. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it may not top something in this house for me. Sometimes it may just go into the, like a little, you know, condiment <laughs> dish. And then I'm just gonna eat I it feel on not it, guilty for eating it. On its own. These are really good. Very good. Are you recommending it? Well done, Aldi, yes. Let us know down in the comment section if you've tried this. Switch like, your kids out for this. Oh, yes. Even if your kids aren't keto, don't tell them. They won't know. Like if you don't pull out the container in front of them, nobody's gonna know, I'm no, telling you. No kid's gonna be upset by this. I think it's better than regular Cool Whip. I haven't had regular Cool Whip in, I don't know, five years. It's actually but really good. I think it's really, really good. Let us know down in the comments section if you've tried it. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have right over there. Also, take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we find something new, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.